Breaking news as we're taping this, Jules, as I mentioned, Timo Werner has agreed to uh, join Chelsea. It is, well, you read it before, yeah, but now it's, it's official. official. It's it he is. Gave a little farewell message on social media. Um, we've talked before about where he's going to fit in mm -hmm. uh, at Chelsea. I think my understanding will get confirmation. I think the fee is 53 million euros uh, in the end of compromise between the 55 and 50. There was a yeah. report from James Olley. Um, I think this is a really good deal. It Bargain. makes a lot of sense. Bargain. Um, but... I wanted to ask you, because one of the issues, Chelsea's saying that uh, he's going to play until the end of the Bundesliga season, which is really easy, June 30th, not much, two games to go. Um, and then he's going to join up with Chelsea in July. Uh, and to make this clear, he will not be able to play for Chelsea in the Champions yep. League. Uh, neither will, will uh, Hakim, ooh, uh, I need to do this correctly. Ziyech. Ziyech. I was I was I was corrected by somebody very kind on Twitter, uh, and I will now endeavor to continue referring to him as Hakim Ziyech. Yeah. Um, there's a story in Build that says he won't be playing for Leipzig in the Champions League. Um, Chelsea saying presumably when they say he's going to join up with them in July, they don't mean he's going to join up with us in July and then go back to uh, play with Leipzig in the in the Champions League when it when it kicks off in uh, in August in Portugal. Do you have a problem with this? Um, I do. I mean, I, I don't know what the answer is. Uh, I understand that if you're Chelsea and you've just signed him, if you, you know, well, let him play in August in the Champions League, and let's say, you know, God forbid for him, but he's got a very, very serious injury, this is this is huge for Chelsea Football Club. So I can understand why there's probably a lot of clubs would feel not really at ease with their players continuing or finishing some of the competitions with their with their former club but still current club which I think is a big by the way you've you've met you've highlighted that a long time ago and I really think that people took it for granted oh yeah he he will stay with us he will play in August well in that case if you're Chelsea uh -uh, this is not a good thing for you like no. we said for for many reasons if you're Timo Werner do you want again to take the risk of playing in, in August in the Champions League with Leipzig when you already are a Chelsea player because that's what you will be I can understand why he's not so keen either. I think it's a bit harsh on Leipzig, of course. It is a Nagelsmann has, has come up before the before the Dusseldorf game saying, like, he's in my plans very much for the Champions League. I don't know what you're talking about kind of thing. I think it's a very tricky si situation. Ryan Fraser saying to Bournemouth, I'm, I, I'm not going to play again. What are Pedro and William going to do at Chelsea? What it looks like they're not going to play again either for the yeah, time being. You know, what are Thiago um, Silva and Cavani doing for PSG? I mean, all those... Individual cases that you have to oh, sort those guys, I would assume, would play again. No, I mean, champ yeah, you would think so. Champions but League football. I mean, yeah, I know. But again, if they if they find a club on July the first, and that club yeah. says, you know what, we can sign you and we give you a three year deal, I mean, I but you can't play in August with your former still current club. It's like, wow. Okay, I'm assuming can. this is something that Chelsea negotiated Surely. with Leipzig Surely. as part of the deal. Surely, um, it is pretty. It is pretty extraordinary. I mean, Leipzig would have had to agree to it to some degree in the sense that you obviously see, Chelsea yeah, had the leverage. So. I mean they could they could they could have paid the the, the clause rather than agreeing a fee. Um, and then if, then Leipzig would have had no leverage at all. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, I think it probably would do Werner some good to have a little more Champions League experience. Yeah, um, true. I think it could make him a more valuable commodity commercially for Chelsea. Again, he can't play for them until next season anyway. Yeah. Um, I guess they felt it would be better to have him around, especially since Pedro and William yeah, will be around. Yeah, true. But, and imagine, I know it's very hy hypothetical, but imagine Chelsea turning around against Bayern and they go through. They, they win 3 0 over there and then they go through a penalty or whatever. And then they play Leipzig in the quarterfinals. Yeah. You, you could potentially have a case where Timo Werner is facing his future current club with his former current club. I mean, yeah, but that happens all crazy. the time, though. That happens all the time. Know, Players sign in January for new clubs. I mean... I know, but this is... This would be even more extreme in the sense that, you know, it's, this is a season that is so extraordinary that it would still be Yeah, it would be. Fantastic. It's, it's a weird one. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.